Hey y'all, uh, how's it going? It's your boy Kenar Lewis. We ain't here in the flesh. We doing it right. I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that maybe we've been thinking about, but maybe we haven't. And that's about reciprocity. Mm. Don't it feel good? Don't it feel good when things are being reciprocated amongst people? That when I'm giving a hundred, you give it a hundred. When you gain gifts, I'm getting gifts. When you're giving time, I'm giving time. When I'm showing love and compassion and care and you're doing the same, mm, it, feel, it feels good because there's a click going on here. We, we understand each other. We value each other. But sometimes that ain't the case. Sometimes you could be given 70 and I'm only given 30. Well, I'm giving 80 and you're giving 20. It's a harsh reality to sink into your brain when you realize that, hold up, I'm, I'm supplying too much energy here. I'm not, I'm not getting enough back. And it's scary. It's scary to realize that because then the question asks, do I continue with this relationship? Is this, do I continue with this environment? Because I'm draining myself to keep it afloat or it's just, uh, I'm not getting what I deserve, what I need. And sometimes it's, it's, it's hard to make that step because sometimes people are afraid to kind of have that conflict, to approach that situation and say, hey, I need you to give me a little bit more. I need that to happen. And that's something that's hard for it to sink in because then you are dealing with that conflict. Then the relationship can get even worse. And then you have more issues and you don't want that. Or or you could be talking about the person, right? And you realize that, yeah, this is a dub. I need to cut this. And... You're literally having to go into a situation now where you're isolated from this person. Where you don't have them in your circle. So you're stepping out of a situation of, 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 familiar, of familiarity into a space of uncertainty. And we know how that is. You don't, you don't know what that's like. But if you like to give more and not receive, by all means stay. But if you don't, that might be the necessary move. Because it's not just about leaving to leave. It's about leaving because you value yourself. And I think sometimes we don't value the energy that we bring. We don't know how to respect ourselves because we haven't been taught to respect ourselves. We've just been taught to just give. Give on the basis of giving. Sometimes the people in our lives are giving us something that we've never had before. So we keep them in our lives even though they're not giving. Sometimes they take advantage of that. They abuse that. They use that. And we're left to dry. We're left there not complete because we deserve more. People should be blessed. They should be lucky that they had a chance to have time with. And it ain't about being cocky. It's just about understanding and acknowledging your energy. What you bring to the table. Reciprocity is the basis of all relationships. We talk about that, building them. We talk about, you know, validation. We talk about communicating, right? That's all what we want. So if, if we're not getting that, it makes sense to leave. Is it easy to leave? No. Just because we cut off the relationship doesn't mean that, oh, we're happy. We could be. But it's something to understand that that's a loss right there. I lost a friend. I lost an environment. And that's not, that's not an easy experience to go through. But it's something that might be necessary because you realize, look, I tried. It's not working out. I got to think about me. And thinking about me sometimes being selfish is necessary because we have to worry about our mental state. We can't be drained. We have to worry about our energy, 
our energy matters. Reciprocity should just be a given. But not many people feel that way. But we have to start feeling that way. Because there's no more half ass things. We all we both have to give it our all. Or it ain't gonna work. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.